Good morning all you beautiful people and welcome back to another Rickles Fisher video. Today I'm with my friend Jerry. It is an early morning. We are here in southern Alberta exploring some new territory. We got the slingshots and we are looking for some new bird species. I am super excited. I got my eyes peeled in the fields. We are looking for Hungarian partridge, uh, sharp-tailed grouse, and male ring-tailed pheasants. So. I'm going to stop talking and start looking in the fields and we're going to get out there and hopefully shoot something today but if not we'll get some scouting done and hopefully see some birds and then we're going to do some fishing later so it's a whole big adventure so stay tuned for that let's keep going. bit of trees but mostly field super windy and no birds yet still early it's only been about five minutes keep looking okay so first release site is in the books we didn't see any this is our only sign so far was, uh, actually we see two tails so two dead birds in the area but no signs of live ones except for some ducks and stuff and a pond back over there but uh, yeah it was cool to check out and we're gonna move on to the next one now Hopefully more drier land and less marsh. So we're just driving to the next spot and I just seen a flock of Hungarian partridge. It was on somebody's land though, so we couldn't hunt them, but pretty exciting seeing a new upland game species that we're targeting, knowing they're nearby in the area. Uh, we're almost to the next release site. We walked seven kilometers on that last one in just under two hours. So we're gonna put some more miles on and hopefully see some birds today. That would be amazing. Look at all those snow geese. There's tons in this field, especially on the other side here. Too bad we're not migratory bird hunt with a shotgun. But uh, yeah, that's obviously why you're allowed to keep so many snow geese. Not the target today though. Okay, so I can see some sort of bird further down this trail. So windy, sorry. That might be a pheasant. We gotta get closer. We're way too far for a shot but I'm gonna get quiet because that may be a pheasant. Wow, so let's go take a look. He's got a pheasant in his sights. I'm trying to catch up. It, brother, boom! <laughs> so that was amazing, so many chats. <laughs> dude. The wind was crazy, they're like, <laughs> and I got like so close. To 
Okay, so I, I got my first male pheasant. It's not a huge one, but damn is it beautiful. Look at the colors on this thing, like the red head. What a prime opportunity that was. The, the wind is so bad out here, you could probably tell by the audio, but I kept missing just barely. It was like singing past them. And we were staying low to the ground and because there was so much wind, we were able to uh, get this bird to come real close to us. I think I might have got it on the GoPro. And that is amazing beauty pheasant. Good job, Rick. One more off the list. I'm so stoked. We're gonna enjoy this. Just taking a break, having some berries as a snack, and uh, reminiscing about the awesome kill. Yes, that was so cool too. Get my first pheasant, got the release, or the release, got the kill recorded on camera too, which was awesome. And uh, we're just gonna take a break for a few more minutes here and we'll keep walking and hopefully run into some more. The limit is two per person, so Jerry's gonna take the next attempt at a pheasant and then uh, if we see a few more, maybe I'll get the chance at my second one, but great day either way, already a success. Jerry's turn now, we've seen a peacock, or peacock, a uh, pheasant, sorry. <laughs> okay, oh he's on the trail, see him. Might have to take a further shot, Jerry. far really far but he's out in the middle way out there it's an insane shot but wow so i seen another pheasant that's the third pheasant sighting but uh it somehow dodged us i don't know how but it ran into the grass or the trail somewhere and straight up dodged us but third pheasant sighting and maybe we'll get a better visual on him soon hopefully Pheasants everywhere! There he is, right there. Lucky you're on private land, my friend. You were lucky. Okay, so we're at a different access point. We were gonna leave, but we literally seen four pheasants in one field, and then another one in the ditch, and just a whole bunch of pheasants around this area. So we decided to stay in this area, and we're gonna walk a different stretch, and hopefully find a couple more. I'm pretty excited to hopefully get some more. We've walked 15 kilometers today. I'm getting a little sore, but uh, we'll keep keep puffing on her and try and get some more birds in the bag. Okay, so it has been a long day and we have done like 16 or 17 kilometers. And now we are at site number four, release site of the day. And we're gonna do some walking around here and hopefully find some more pheasants. We ended up, after we drive out to the other release site, we seen like probably nine or ten pheasants just chilling in buddy's yard and one in the ditch as i showed you but uh yeah we're looking for some easier access pheasants that we're allowed to shoot so fingers crossed we can find one more of those before it is too late we got about three hours of light left so let's go get it done okay so as you can see it is starting to get dark now we are done hunting and uh, we're gonna go do some fishing actually some night fishing for walleye chances some really big ones too so we'll get out to the fishing spot okay so we're at the fishing spot and i just found some uh little craws hey they're pinching me ow 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 but uh, i'm gonna try and catch some bigger ones and maybe eat a few tonight but uh, yeah we're out here just waiting for a big walleye maybe pike oh there's something in the water there but uh yeah hopefully 
you can get onto some big fish and maybe some big craws. It'd be beauty night out here. Yeah, this one's a little bit bigger, but still not big enough. Oh yeah, it's a medium sized one. Oh no, it's small. Oh. <laughs> Here's a big one right here. I'm gonna pull my sleeve up and try and catch it. It's a nice one. Woohoo! Hello. Starting to get quite the stockpile of them, probably about 20 or so now. On night size crawfish. Look at the size of this big ass beetle. Imagine that would hurt to get stung by. He doesn't want to hang out. Should we cook him up with the crawfish? <laughs> Good morning, it is day two now and we are back at a pheasant release site and we're back to try and get some more pheasants. Jay needs another shot at his first pheasant, so <laughs> hopefully we can get him on that opportunity and maybe I can get my second one. So There's also the chance of the Hungarian partridge and the sharp-tailed grouse, which I would love to find. I don't know if we'll see any more this trip, but fingers crossed. So let's get out there and see what we find. Check out these pheasants. Unfortunately, they're on private land that we can't shoot them on. But there's three of them. There's two there, and then there's one that went in the grass. <sighs> okay, so we have officially checked out six pheasant release sites, and now we are going to go back up north and probably look for some grouse. Um, it's been fun checking it out down here, but we still got a few hours before we're back in the hood of home area So we want to get in that area and then we'll have a bit of prime time left to hunt some grouse. So that's what we're gonna do It's been fun down south <laughs> <laughs> 